go. So many, so many buttons, you know, things to push. I'm going to use my roller to help me just because of my foot. Other foot. I need, if I use a roller or something, I can do it. <laughs> okay, so start standing tall, lengthening the spine, feet comfortably under the hips, lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders, letting the tailbone drop so you feel your, your natural posture, right? And just start by lifting and lowering the heels. We'll breathe with that, right, as we do. So inhale, if you want to bring your arms into it, you can. We'll inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, lower. Just a few breaths to kind of center ourselves and get our breathing going. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Nice full breath, maybe getting a little higher up, maybe staying up a little longer. <laughs> My cat is going to, maybe he's going to stay here with us. Good. And the next time we lower our heels, just shift your weight to one leg and loop your other knee up in front and use something to balance if you need it. Good. Stay lifted tall. Petting my cat with my foot. <laughs> okay, and then lower that foot and shift over to the other side. And lift that knee up. Again, staying lifted, staying tall, breathe, maybe focusing on a point. And go ahead and lower. And then we'll shift over again to our first leg. So we'll do some heel pumps here, right? This might require a little help with the balance. Just lifting up and down, pump that heel, breathe. Good for a lot of things. And bringing that foot down, shifting over to the other leg, lifting that knee up and pumping up and down, lifting and lowering the heel. And breathe. And go ahead, bring that foot down. Right, let me see, move my roller out of the way. So we're going to just bring our arms up in front with our palms facing each other and just taking our elbow back, one elbow back, and just following it back and reaching forward. So a little rotation of our torso here and follow the other elbow back and bring it forward and rotate and forward and rotate and forward. And then this time we'll take this elbow back and unfurl our arm behind us, sweep it back around. And take your other elbow back, unfurl your arm, sweep it back around, and just kind of get a nice fluid movement here, right? One elbow, unbend, and back. One elbow, unbend, and go back. Nice fluid motion of our shoulders down, shoulders relaxed as we twist. And then when you bring your arms forward this time, let them relax for a moment. And then let's bring our arms out from our shoulders and keeping the pelvis stable, make sure the rib cage is over your pelvis. Let your rib cage go side to side, keeping tall, right? So keeping that length in our spine and see if we can move our rib cage like a typewriter, shoulders relaxed. Good. And then come center, relax your arms. Now circle the hips without letting the rib cage move too much, kind of isolating our bottom half a little bit more. Just like the circling because it moves our joint, gets our joints going instead of just doing what we did with our rib cage. <laughs> and then the other direction, just let the hips circle, our knees and ankles get a little movement.
All right, and then coming to center, we'll go ahead and come to the end of our mat or wherever you're going to be and roll down. So take an inhale and roll down on the exhale, relaxing our shoulders, our arms, our head. And we're gonna hang here, letting the knees bend and straighten and relax everything. And letting the knees bend as much as they need to. We're going to roll back up, so stacking our spine, letting the arms and shoulders be heavy, getting that stretch. And then when we come all the way to the top, we we'll inhale and roll down on our exhale. Just hang here and bend and straighten if you want, or you might swing your torso side to side, just kind of sway a little bit. Side to side, if that feels good to you. And then we'll walk our hands away from our feet into that pike or down dog, spread the fingers wide, knees slightly bent. We lift our tailbone. And then letting our body kind of move around as we work our heels down to the mat and stretch the legs. Hopefully you can let your head relax, dangle some blood to our brain. You can also shift forward and back if you want, like shift toward the arms and back toward the heels. Whatever feels good to you today. And making that space a little wider between our hands and our feet, maybe a high plank or all the way into plank or whatever feels good to you. And just taking some deep breaths here. Just having the hips wherever they're comfortable, it can be higher up or all the way into plank. And then we'll lower down to the mat either slowly or bring your knees under you. But if you want a little challenge, you can lower yourself slowly down to your belly. Okay, we're gonna come around onto our back. I'm gonna shift my mat, with my view here. Okay, so coming onto the back with our feet lined up with our sits bones. Okay. And we're gonna just take a nice deep breath here, relax everything. And as we exhale, we'll just go ahead and curl the tailbone up and peel our spine off of the mat. So some bridges here, arms can be wherever you're comfortable. Good. Adjust your feet if you need to, relaxing our shoulders and our neck. Inhale here as we press those hips up, exhale, melt the spine back down. And then when our hips come down, take a nice deep breath. Again, peel off the mat on the exhale. And at the top of our bridge, we're just gonna press that right hip up. Let the left hip drop about an inch or so and exhale down, melting the spine. Don't let the legs move, just isolating our pelvis. Inhale, coming to center, exhaling, up the center. And then at the top, pressing that left hip up, letting the right hip drop a little bit. And we exhale down the right side of the spine. And then relax, inhaling at the bottom, exhale up the center again. Good, and then pressing the hips up, as we exhale, melt the spine down, hips come down last. So it gets, let our spine get a little warm up. And then we're gonna do a little bit of pelvic stability work here. So um, I think everybody knows neutral spine, right? Or neutral pelvis. You want your pelvis to be level, rib cage on the mat, natural curvature in your low back, right? Just 
natural curvatures of the spine. And then you're gonna keep that position. Inhale, as you exhale, just lift your right leg into tabletop and hold it there, right? And just feel yourself stable throughout your whole trunk and your shoulders relaxed. And then we're gonna move this leg right, and hold everything still. So just bring your knee toward you a bit and bring it back to where you started. So just bringing the knee in and then back and starting to just really tune in to that stability, right? It's pretty simple, shoulders relaxed, yeah. And then when we come back to our start position, we're gonna move the leg down away from us so that foot comes down toward the ground and then lifts back up. So this is that toe touch or heel touch, whatever you want. And then holding everything stable without bending the knee, you're just reaching the foot down toward the ground and bringing it back up. Right? So letting that foot go, it might not go all the way down because you wanna make sure you're not letting anything change in your spine or your pelvis, right? and you're not tensing your shoulders. And then when you bring it back up to start, you're gonna extend the legs straight. So that angle, that sort of 45 degree angle, right? And then bend. Or whatever angle your leg is at, that feels right for you so that you're stable in your center, right? Extend and bend. Shoulders relaxed. And then when you bend it at this time, Go back to the first thing we did, bring your knee in and then back. So you really feel stable here, good. And then when you come back to center, go ahead and put that foot down on the mat and float your left leg up. So this is gonna probably, it might feel different, but just kind of tune into that. Again, stabilizing everything, bring the knee in towards you and back. In and back without letting anything change, without tensing the shoulders, good. And then we're gonna take the leg away so the foot goes toward the ground and back. A Little bit more challenging, obviously, but focus on that stability of the pelvis. It's really kind of a magical thing, right? We can do it, if we do one leg at a time, you really can focus. Okay, and then when you come up, unbend that leg. So extend and bend. Again, no change here. Breathe, inhale, bend, exhale, extend, or whatever, the other way around, doesn't matter. And then when you bend, Go one more time back to bringing the knee towards you and away to where it was. So bring the knee in and back, in and back. Good, and then put that foot down on the mat. Good, and just kind of relax, but we're gonna relax everything for a moment, but we're gonna be keeping that stable pelvis, that neutral pelvis, we're gonna take our hands behind our head, clasp them, lift the elbows a little bit, keep them wide. And then as we inhale, we're gonna inhale here, again, holding everything really stable. As you press your head and shoulders up, you're going to just lift up a little bit. And as we do that, we're gonna slide our left leg straight without letting anything change. And then draw that foot back in and lie back down, right? So same idea. Inhale, exhale as you press up and slide your right leg straight down the mat. And then bring that foot back in and lie back down. Keep going with that a couple more. So pressing up on the exhale, extending that left leg, noticing your pelvis and your back holding stable and lie back down. Nice deep breath, exhale up as you extend the right leg. Inhale, pull it back, exhale down, or however you want to breathe, just make sure you're breathing. Okay, so we're going to add to that. Inhale, exhale as you extend that left leg and press up, and then stay here, lift the leg up so your knees 
are lined up with each other. And then lower the leg down, draw your foot in and lie down. Again, holding steady in your core. Exhale up as you extend your right leg, lift it up so it's in line with your left knee. Lower down, draw it in. So our focus again is on that stable pelvis. Press up, extend the left leg, lift up, lower down, slide it in. Relax one more, inhale, exhale up, extend the right leg long, lift it up, lower it down and slide it in head and shoulders on the ground. Good, so we're gonna keep our legs here and not move them, take an inhale, and then pressing your head and shoulders up on your exhale. Again, you're in your neutral pelvis. We're gonna inhale here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna curl our tailbone up and press our low back into the mat. So we're gonna do pelvic tilts in this position, right? And then inhale, relax back to neutral. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, pressing your low back into the ground, and then relax back to neutral, holding our head and shoulders still. Just curl and back to neutral, and curl and back to neutral. One more time, curl up, back to neutral, and lie back down. All right, so now you really focused a lot on the pelvis. <laughs> so take an inhale here and then exhale, press your head and shoulders up. Bring your right leg up. Now, if you can keep your neutral pelvis, great. Draw your left leg up. It might be a little more challenging, but if you can keep that neutral stable pelvis in this position, keep going with that. Inhale, as you exhale, extend your right leg straight, just unbend it. Inhale it back. Exhale, extend your left leg. Inhale it back. Exhale, extend the right leg. Because our legs are up, it's a little more challenging. Exhale, extend the left leg. Inhale it back. Lay down and relax for a moment. We're going to go one more time before we rest. Okay, so take an inhale. Again, if you can keep your neutral pelvis, do so. Exhale up. And now we're gonna add the twist on the upper body. So as we exhale, we're gonna extend that right leg, turn to the left, crisscross, right? Bring it back to center and lie back down. Exhale, up, as you extend your left leg, turn to the right. So see if you can keep the natural curve in your spine. Again, keep going, exhaling up, extend and rotate. Bring it center and lie back down on the inhale. Extend and rotate. Bring it back to center, lie down, extend, two more, rotate. Bring it center, lie down, last one, extend and rotate. Bring it center and lie down. Now you can hug your knees and relax your back <laughs> and your pelvis <laughs> and just rock around, yeah. Pelvic stability, you might, if you do the pelvic stability work, you'll notice a difference in just everything. It's, it's pretty amazing. So curl yourself into a ball if that feels good to you. Good. And then we're gonna grab our feet. If you want, you can hold on the outside, inside, wherever. Just do a little rock and happy baby. Maybe pull your knees down so you really feel that opening of the hip, right? And then straddle the legs a little bit, maybe unbend them a little more and kind of rock around. Our back relax here. And then coming to center, we'll bring our feet together with those knees open. Hold on to your left foot as you stretch your right side out. So reaching through the heel, reaching through the arm. And then we'll pull the right side together, stretch the left side out, reach to the heel, do the stretch on our left side. And then both arms and both legs. So that 
full body stretch as we reach through one side and the other, one side and the other, and just feels good in the morning. <laughs> Feeling our hips and shoulders moving up and down. And then relax everything, open the feet or the legs a little wider, arms in a wide V. Take one hand over to the other, stretching across the body, flexing the feet, reach. And then sliding that arm up and opening out, spiral to the other side and reach chest. And coming onto the back. Go ahead and let your legs come together, reach your arms for your feet, and you might slide your hands under your low back or some other way to help you come up to sitting. And then when we come up to sitting, our legs in front of us, we're gonna lift the sits bones and take a little forward fold stretch because it always feels good after laying on the back. <laughs> Make sure the pelvis comes forward first, right? So you can not hurt your sacrum. <laughs> Let's take a stretch. Good. All right, and then we'll um, sit tall and bend our knees a little bit. And this is just going to be a little bit of more back and postural work just for the beginning part of this. So have your knees in a comfortable bend, whatever that is, so you can sit tall. And we'll bring our arms forward like that. So the main thing is we want to really be able to lengthen our spine, right? And then palms face down. So we're going to take our right arm up by our ear and lift tall and then bring that arm back in front. And then our left arm up by our ear. Feel yourself lifting taller and that arm back in front. Now both arms lifting tall and bringing them back in front. Now we're going to pull our elbows back like we're putting our back of our arms against a wall, right? So you feel like you're up against a wall and now lift your forearms and then bring them back to parallel and reach forward. Again, draw those elbows back so you're pressing into that invisible wall. Lift the arms and now lift the chest. A little bit of an upward back of back bend, right? And then come straight, arms go parallel, reach forward. Again, pull elbows back, lift forearms, lift the chest, back to straight, arms parallel, and reach forward. Let's do that one more time because it feels so good in the upper back. Okay, lift the forearms. Lift the chest, a little back bend, and then forward, arms parallel, and reach forward. And then palms facing each other. We're just going to open right arm and follow it back. And bring it forward. And then open left arm, follow it back. And bring it forward. Just do two more of those. So open the right arm into that twist. Ah, feels good. Staying tall. Bring it forward. And one more time. Open back. And bring it forward. Let your arms relax. Shake them out. <laughs> okay. Take your legs out. So we'll bend our, our knees. Bring our arms into genie kind of, you know, folded like that, right? And we're gonna inhale tall as you exhale. You're gonna curl your tailbone and just let your back round a little bit, maybe to the sacrum. And then lift right knee to right elbow, bring that foot down. So really curling the tailbone under, left knee, and bring it down, relax the shoulders. Right knee in, and bring it back, left knee in, bring it back and come forward. Again, inhale, tall, exhale, curl the tailbone, just back to maybe halfway or to the sacrum. Now we're gonna add a twist. Right knee comes up, we twist to the right. So that comes left elbow and forward. And then left knee to right elbow and forward. Again, curl the tailbone under and just a little rotation. 
orientation. And then when we come center, we're going to come up, release the arms. This is all a progression. <laughs> Straighten the legs in front. All right, reach your arms forward. Good. Inhale tall. Exhale, curl the tailbone under and round back a little bit. Turn to the left and lift your left leg up. Bring it down as you come forward. Turn to the right, lift your right leg. Bring it back, forward, and come up. Again, let's do that again before we go into the full thing that we're going to do. So inhale, exhale, roll back again. Turn to the left, left leg lifts. One-legged teaser, right? Back to center, turn to the right, rotate right. Back to center and come up. Take a little moment, use your arms. Now we're going to go fully into the rollback, but you don't have to go all the way back. You can go just to your rib cage or you can go all the way down. Everybody's gonna be different, right? Inhale, <laughs> exhale, roll back, maybe to the rib cage, maybe all the way, bring your arms wherever, as far as your back, that's how your arms can come. Inhale, reach and exhale up. I just want us to get warmed up. Okay, so inhale, exhale, roll back to maybe your rib cage, maybe all the way. A nice full breath and come up. So if we feel a little bit warmed up, we're going to lift our right leg a little bit off the ground, one-legged teaser style. We're going to roll back to wherever we want to go here, or if we feel we can go. And then we're going to inhale as we reach, exhale, roll back up, turn to the right. Bring it center, lower the leg. Lift the left leg, inhale, exhale, roll back. And just going back as far as you want, right? Or think you can, inhale, exhale, roll up and turn to the left. Center, lower the leg, come up. Again, right leg up, roll back on the exhale. Good. Nice deep breath, using our breath, rolling back up and then we turn to the right. Center and lower down. One more. <laughs> okay, lifting that left leg on the inhale, exhale, and roll back. Inhale, exhale, roll. Turn to the left. And center and lower down. Take a little stretch over your leg. And then we're going to open our legs into a straddle about mat width apart or so. Hands on the mat or the ground. Lift tall, on our exhale, we're just gonna spine stretch forward, slide your hands away. Inhale, exhale, back up, slide the hands away. And stack back up. Getting a little stretch and feeling our spine articulating, stretch away. Of course, your knees can be bent. They don't have to, your legs don't have to be totally straight. Okay, now we're gonna put that together with a few roll-ups. So we're gonna do spine stretch with our arms up. Inhale, exhale, reach forward as we stretch forward. But inhale, exhale, stack up, legs together, roll back. Or as you feel, you can go all the way. You might sweep your arms around to help you roll back up if you need to. As you come up, the legs open. Inhale, exhale, spine stretch forward. Inhale, exhale, stack up and bring legs together. Inhale, exhale, roll back. So a few more just alternating. And like I said, however you want to do them, however far back you go, legs open. And we Spine stretch forward and reach. Inhale, exhale, back up, legs together, roll back. You can also bend your knees if you want. They don't have to be straight. <laughs> Open. Reach forward. Good. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale, legs together. Last one, roll back. Getting into that nice groove, right? Inhale, exhale up, open the legs. Find the stretch forward. And stack the spine up. And we come to the top. Great. You want to use a strap or something to stretch. We're going to stretch our, our legs. To begin with here, the stretcher, just do a little leg stretch. So if you want to use a strap, great. Something lift, doesn't matter what leg you start with, just lift your leg up and pull it towards you, flatten the back, and come on to the back and leg to the ceiling. So stretching our other leg on the ground as we maybe bend and straighten. Like a bit, move your foot. You can just flex and point your foot, move it side to side, tilt it side to side. I mean, <laughs> and then with our leg as straight as we can get it, foot flexed, taking it across the body slowly, finding that stretch. Breathing into it, maybe going a little farther, maybe not, just finding that stretch, but try not to let your leg bend so that you really get into that sacrum. So good for our sacrum that channel. Yeah. And then lifting up and opening the leg out to the side left hip or your other hip down this leg straight as possible a stretch here uh, and then lifting back to the ceiling gathering up your band or strap if you're using one or holding onto your leg lower the leg rock up and switch to the other leg other foot Lift it up. Good. Pulling our leg towards us as we try to flatten the back, right? Get a good stretch, kind of different muscles that way. And then rolling all the way onto our back, really stretching through the standing leg. Just like a stretch. And breathe and move the foot. You can flex and point and roll through the foot. You can turn it side to side. Do the ankle stretch. And getting the leg as straight as you can with the foot flexed slowly across. Feeling that place where you go, the sensation goes all the way up into the hip and breathe. It's really an individual thing as to how far your leg goes. It depends on how it feels. Just breathe. You need to keep that channel flexible, right? That sacrum channel. All right, and then lifting up and opening out to the side as we keep our other hip down. Keep that leg straight and high if you can. Stretch the inner leg. And lift it back to the top. And then we'll rock up. So if you're holding on to a strap or band, gather it up, lower your leg. Rocking ourselves up and then taking off the prop if you're using one. Grab hold of your first leg, roll back to your rib cage. Give it a stretch. Pull your other leg up, give it a stretch. Stretching our legs here and switch, scissoring the legs, right? Exhale, switch, shoulders down the back. Looking between our thighs, switch and switch.
Now, whatever leg is up, whatever leg is down, stop and put your hands behind your head. <laughs> and now we're going to switch and rotate. Elbow toward knee. Rotate. Little rotation. And breathe. Support your head with your hands. Serious ab work here, right? <laughs> now we're getting serious. <laughs> All right, both legs up as we come center. Relax down, hug your knees, relax your body. Rock around. And then if you are able to, Roll on your back or rock on your back, whatever. Just kind of do a little rolling, right? Holding on to your legs and kind of just do a little rolling ball here if you can. I know that doesn't work for everybody, but it's a great thing to do if you can. <laughs> and then we'll come up to sitting. Oh, good ab work actually. Okay, so we'll come on to one side. Pick a side that you want to start with and have your legs in a kind of that half bend with the heels lined up with our tailbone and our elbow under our shoulder, right? So find your alignment here, knee stacked, hip stacked. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> lift our rib cage. Now, this hand might, it can be wherever you want it to be. It can even be here or it could just be resting on your leg. But lift your rib cage and lower the rib cage. So we just want to move our rib cage up and down, lift without collapsing the shoulder, right? So you're using this arm to support. Lift, lift and lower the ribs. And then we're going to lift the ribs and keep them there so they feel lifted, right? And we want to keep that lift. And if you can, lift your hips. And the arm can do whatever it wants to. And you might lower your hips, but not your ribs. Keep them lifted. And then lift the hips. Or you might want to stay up. It's kind of challenging to stay up, but you can if you want, or just lift and lower, right? So keep that rib cage lifted. Lift the hips and lower. And I realize some people may not be able to lift their hips and that's okay. You just wanna feel like you're trying to lift your hips. <laughs> that's enough. All right, lift up and lower. This time we'll keep our hips down, but keep that rib cage lifted and open the top knee and down. So clam, right? Open and close. Keep that um, top heel might press into your bottom heel. Good. And your neck, if your neck is bothering you, turn your head and look back and down, kind of move it around. So I realize there is always a little tension on the neck with this position, right? And then let your knee relax, straighten your legs straight down the mat, keep that lift in your rib cage, and now lift and lower your leg. It's very strengthening for the neck, which is good. So the leg lift is not going to be very high, obviously, but we want to keep the ribs lifted as much as we can. And just lift and lower. My ribs I'm noticing are wanting to collapse. So see if you can keep them up there. All right, bend your knee, relax your legs. <laughs> and now slide down onto your arm because I realize we need a break from that. So slide onto your arm, relax your head. <laughs> Extend your top leg, flex your foot, kick forward on your inhale, stretch back on your exhale. Good, without moving our torso, you want more challenge, take your um, hand off of the mat, which makes it more challenging. You can put it behind your head, 
or you know if you want to good kick and reach and then we're going to go into a bicycle so next time you reach back stay there and bend the knee pull it towards your pull the heel towards your butt pull your knee in stretch through your heel and reach back and really try to bring your heel to your butt and keep that leg back and then bring it forward stretch to your heel good and then also if you can keep a little bit of a space underneath your waist right like there's a strawberry there or something you don't want to smash good that makes your abs work a little more and then we're going to reverse it so as we reach back we stay there and then flex forward knee in heel to butt and reach back flex forward knee in heel to butt and really reach back so you feel a stretch across the front of the thigh this time when we reach back you're going to stay there touch your toe down behind you lift the leg up touch your heel down in front lift the leg up toe down and back internal and external rotation of our hip heel down in front toe down and back and breathe good really need to get some oxygen moving so breathing with this last time to the back so next time you reach back Go ahead and reach your arm away from your leg and stretch. And then we'll follow our arm back and let our leg come forward. And then our arm will come forward and our leg reaches back. And then one more time, follow the arm back. and come to your start position letting our legs relax here we're going to press ourselves up to sitting or you can come onto your back if you would prefer i would just do a little hip stretch here so take a moment to stretch that outside that you worked a little bit let it relax Also, sometimes pounding it with your fist. <laughs> you feel it, if you're really feeling it. <laughs> and then we'll come on to our other side. So. Bringing ourselves onto our elbow with the knees in the half bend, elbow under the shoulder, knees stacked, hips stacked. Okay, we're gonna again do that little movement with our rib cage. So you're just lifting and lowering the ribs and not letting the shoulder go. You lift and lower. You might need to make adjustments. You might find you need to adjust your legs a little bit. A little movement of our rib cage. And then we're gonna lift it and hold it up. Right? And then see if you can really keep, it, keep that lift going. Lift your hips maybe or not doesn't matter, but any amount of lift of the hips is good. Keeping our rib cage lifted, lift and lower, or hold the hips up if you want, if you can, right? Just hold them up and stay there for however long you want. So it doesn't really matter. We're just really keeping this lift and engaging our shoulder. Look down and back if that helps you.
up to the neck. And then next time we lower our hips, keep that lift, open the knee and lower. If you need to take a break, of course you can. <laughs> but I realize it's a little challenging on the neck. Okay, bringing that knee up and down. Takes a lot of conscious effort to keep my ribcage lifted. <laughs> and then relax the knee, extend that leg, and then lift and lower the leg a little bit. Just a little movement. Breathe. And then let your knee bend and relax. Slide down on your arm. Ah, take a break. All right, stand that top leg, flex the foot, kick forward. And again, keeping a little bit of space, reach back under your waist if you can, if you feel like you want to add that part in that keeps the our core really stable and our torso nice and still. Kick and reach. Really reach back. And then we'll go into bicycle next time we reach back, really reach back, bring the heel toward the butt. Whoops. <laughs> Pull the knee in, reach to the heel, circle back. Pull that knee back. Pull it up, reach to the heel. So we feel that stretch in the back of our leg, in the front of our leg, I'm sorry. Reach. Moving all of our joints here. And the next time we reach back, we're going to reverse, flex forward, knee in, heel, really reach back. Yeah. Nice and big bicycle. Try to keep your waist slightly up off of the mat, feeling a little space there. And the next time we reach back, we're gonna stay there. Reach, touch the toe down, lift the leg, rotate to touch our heel down. Lift the leg, rotate, touch the toe down. And however high this leg wants to lift, my leg on this side doesn't want to lift very high. <laughs> and just breathe. Doesn't want to lift it all actually because it's so tired. <laughs> and breathe. Rotating that hip, the leg in the hip socket. Next time we reach back, stay there, reaching back, reach your arm away from your leg. And then following our arm back, leg comes forward. You might need to bend your elbow too, that's fine. You can do whatever you need to do with your, with your arm. Reach forward, reach the leg back. And then following our arm back, leg forward. So like on this side, I need to put my hand on my shoulder. That's okay. It's not about the arm so much. And then bringing yourself to center to start position. Knees bent, legs relaxed. Come up or come onto your back if you prefer sitting or whatever works for you to give that hip a little bit of attention. Take a little hip stretch. Or just pound it with your hand or your fist. That's okay. Or shake it out, you know, anything that feels good to your hip, also your head and your shoulders and your neck might want a little bit of movement. Then we're going to make our way to our all fours and just if you're not able to be on your all fours, you can find another position where you can move your spine. 
Just let your spine move here. So curling the tailbone under, rounding the back. You might like to press your hips back and then coming up and arching or whatever feels good to you, a regular cat cow or letting the spine move a little bit. Oh. And then we'll come to neutral and find yourself nice and stable. I'm gonna stretch that left leg back and then reach your right arm forward, lifting your left leg. So reaching and lifting. We're gonna take our arm and leg out to the side slowly. So kind of see if you can, however far they go, bring them out to the side and then bring them back and lower down to the mat. Good. Stretch your right leg back, left arm out and lift. Again, slowly take them out to the side and bring them back and lower down. Let's do that two more times. Not Maybe not quite as slow. So reach the left leg, right arm out, take them out to the side. Bring it back. Let's take it out to the side again, if you can, a couple times. Bring it back and down to the mat. <laughs> One more side. Okay, reach it out. And then again, out to the side and back. And if you can, another one out to the side and back and lower down. Stretch back to the heels for a moment, off of the hands. We're gonna come onto our belly. I'm gonna adjust my now a little bit. But coming onto the belly, just bring your elbows under your shoulders here, relax your pelvis. Yeah. And we'll have our um, elbows under our shoulders, tuck your toes, lift the pelvis, and then if you can, lift your knees off the mat, coming into that forearm plank, but you can just lift the pelvis too, that's either way. And then knees come down one at a time, lower the pelvis, relax your feet. And then just let your elbows go out to the side, forehead resting on your hands, stacked on the mat. <clears throat> We're just gonna lift our, keep our forehead attached to our hands, like they're glued together, right? And just lift your torso up and down a little bit. So float up and back down. So trying to rest our head on our hands, so we're not using our neck, we're using our back muscles, right? And lower down. So lift and lower and lift, relaxing the neck. Last one. And when you come down, bring your arms into goal posts. So elbows out from the shoulders, forearms pressing into the ground. We're gonna lift our head and chest up However high our head and chest lifts. <laughs> and we're gonna float our left arm up. I'm gonna do left because it's my face on the screen. Left arm floats up. And then we're gonna reach that arm straight overhead as we lift our right leg. Now keeping our pelvis on the ground, right? And then bend the elbow as you lower your right leg, but keep your arm up hovering and keep going. So you're gonna reach that left arm as you Lift your right leg, bend the elbow as the leg goes down, reach, lift, bend, lower the leg, reach, lift. And you're just looking down, trying to keep a good position for your neck, right? Whatever is comfortable. Reach, reach and lift. This time when you bend, lower the leg, relax down. 
And then pressing the head and chest up again, float your right arm. You're gonna reach as you lift your left leg, keeping your pelvis on the ground. Draw the elbow back, but don't lower the arm, just lower the leg. Lift the leg, reach and bend. Lift and reach and bend and breathe. You don't have to be lifted very high at all, right? You're just a little bit is okay. Or you can have a blanket under your, hold it up blanket under your chest or something. Last one. And when you bring it in, relax everything. Let's draw our elbows in to our, toward our waist. So our hands are like under the shoulder area. And then we're gonna lift our head and chest up, pressing arms into the ground, and then hover your left forearm off the mat and hold and relax down. And then again, press up, hover your right arm and hold. We're getting it into more on the lower back, right? And then lower down. One more time, press the head and chest up, float both arms, reach overhead, both arms reach up and pull back. Reach overhead, pull back and lift. Reach overhead, pull up. As you pull your elbows in, try to lift a little higher. Reach out, lift, arms are off the ground. Reach out, pull in and lift. One more time, reach out, pull in and lift and relax down on this one. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we're gonna lengthen our head and chest uh, out and up, press into the hands. Go ahead and come all the way up onto the knees and stretch back onto your heels. Oh, feeling your back. All right, take a little stretch here. So if you want your knees apart or together, whatever feels good to you. As I always meant, seem to, most of the time anyway, seem to say, back work is really, really important. <laughs> the stuff that we do for our back, really important. It's all important, <laughs> but you know, okay. Uh, okay, and then we'll just come up to sitting. And bring your legs into a diamond or butterfly like position. Yeah. Take a stretch forward over your legs so we can stretch our sacrum really nicely here. It's a good sacrum stretch. And just breathe. And then come up, extend the legs out. If you need to bend your knees or if you want to stay, uh, sit in a different position, you can. We're just going to do a little bit of bend your knees is always helpful to sit up tall. Rotate, anchor the hips, stretch across as you anchor the hips, lift up nice and tall, rotate, stretch across. You might, I like to grab my foot and pull myself a little bit. <laughs> Lift tall, rotate, stretch. Good. Inhale and exhale. A nice stretch for our shoulders and our side body, our hips. Keep going until you feel like you had a good stretch or you're, and you're even on both sides. Then you can come up and let your arms and shoulders relax, give a little shake, draw a little circle with your nose in front of you and then the other direction. 
head release, the neck. All right, thank you all for coming. I see we've lost a few, but <laughs> I'm gonna hit 